like I said, it's Nani from Nani's world. It's my world, and y'all are just living in it. I found you, girl. I like being around you. Feel like Kanye, I'm bound to. Shawty, if you down, I'm down to. Yeah, I found. Hey, y'all. It's your girl Nani. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And as always, y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way in or of course on your way out <laughs> right now i'm recording on my phone it is 10 42 a.m and i am currently picking up some medicine for well, my birth control before i have to leave now if you guys have watched my videos you guys know that i'm going on kind of a business trip the only reason i'm saying a business trip because it's not just a trip i'm going to have fun it's a trip that i'm going to work i'm going to basically put myself out there to kind of be a big deal you know so um i am leaving to houston today i catch my flight at 5 30 well I'm, I'm not gonna keep saying 5 30 i catch my flight at like four well i'm gonna say five o'clock okay because it departs at 5 30 but yes that's when i'm catching my flight i'm gonna drive to newark i'm not driving i'm getting a ride up to newark and that's where i'm gonna catch the plane from Hold on, guys. So, yeah, guys. Basically, I'm leaving to Houston today. I'm getting... I'm going to um, Newark. Because that's where I'm... Actually, I'll go this way. Because that's where um, I'm taking the airplane from. Um, my... I get... I have a layover in Atlanta. And then I make it to Houston at, like, about 9.45-ish tonight. So basically i'm just gonna be taking you guys kind of with me through this journey because i already talked about it to you guys so you guys already know kind of what's going on as you guys can see i got my lashes done i got my eyebrows done i got my hair done i'm feeling like the baddest bitch in the world right now that is really what is going to be happening today i'm super super excited i'm very very nervous but like i said this is a business trip a business opportunity and yeah i'm just gonna go this way to make it easier it's a business trip a business opportunity basically to get me seen and you know there's never nothing wrong with wanting to be seen wanting to be out there y'all this opportunity is just amazing opportunity of a lifetime i'm going to meet carmen pritchett one of my favorite youtubers that i've been watching since i started wanting to be a youtuber and yeah like it's all uh, from here should i say like i i was like kind of skeptical at first and i was like damn like even if i like if i go don't get picked i feel like i failed but in all reality it's not really the case because even if i don't get picked i'm still gonna be like seen you know like they're gonna know who i am they're, they've seen my face and all that good stuff so i'm good <laughs> um yeah so um i just dropped my daughter off to my sister i'm gonna miss her so much y'all that's what i'm gonna miss the most is my baby my boyfriend is riding down with us um so yeah it's gonna be an experience um i think that's all the talking i'm gonna do for right now and then the rest of it will kind of be just vlogging and you know just seeing y'all come with me i got my luggage packed and ready by the door um i really have everything that i need and it's just crazy. Like, I know I keep babbling on and stuff like that, but it's just crazy because this is, like, really happening. Like, it's for real. Like, it's not a joke. It's not a prank. Like, I'm really going to Houston to kind of, like, turn my life around, you know? And I'm excited. I'm very excited. When I first started YouTube, I never thought, like, in a million years that I'd get this far. But, like, girl, uh, you doing a damn thing. Um, that's it for right now y'all before we get into the video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah keep up with your girl hit that subscribe button <laughs> so hey y'all um so i made it to the airport um right now i'm basically just waiting to board the plane i went through the process i hope you guys can hear me i went through the process of um like my bags checked and getting my ticket thing and everything like that so i went through all that um i just ran to the bathroom really quick and now we're waiting to like board the plane um the ride up was pretty quick i thought it was gonna be longer or at least feel longer but it didn't um i do have a layover in atlanta i have a layover in atlanta for two hours 
So yeah, and then from there, I'm going straight to Houston. Um, I'm really excited. This lighting is hitting too. I'm really excited. Um, like, I mean, it's been a pretty easy kind of transition. I did cry. Like every time I leave like a loved one, I cry. So just talking to my boyfriend before he left, I definitely cried. I cried reading my best friend's texts. Like, yeah. My um, sister is sending me pictures of Kyrie, videos of Kyrie, so you know, looking at those made me cry too. It's a surreal feeling, like I'm really about to be in Houston with a bunch of other YouTubers. It's just crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish y'all could see me smile. Y'all, it's hot. Like, if I take this mask off, I'm sweating all right here. Like, it's so hot. So, I don't know if you guys can hear or not. I don't know. I'm trying not to yell, but I'm trying not to whisper, if that makes sense. But, um, <clears throat> I just got on the plane. You got to see outside the window. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. This is Captain Kathy Prescara. I'm at the forward part of the cabin. So, I know y'all heard the lady talking or whatever. Um, but yes, we're on the plane now. We're about to take off soon. And yeah, like I said, I, I hope you guys can hear me because I'm trying not to whisper, but I'm also trying not to be too loud. But yeah, um, after we leave here, we're gonna hit Atlanta, and then from Atlanta, we're going to Houston. So it should be a pretty cool flight. I thought the flight was like two hours, like in total, like two hours and some change, but I guess it's only an hour and 46 minutes, I said, I'm guessing she's saying, but I'm gonna just round it down to an hour and 45 minutes. Um, so yeah, that's for, my mom just called me, so that's why my camera cut off, but anyway. Oh, we're moving. As we leave the gate, make sure your seatbelt is fastened. To fasten, insert the metal tip into the buckle and adjust Ooh. the strap so it's low. Yeah, I've never been on a plane before. Left. To release the belt, just lift the top of the buckle. Please remain seated with so your seatbelt really securely fastened. Any hey guys so i realized i never actually started recording once i left the airport and that's mainly because y'all it was very tiring like i was tired i was just ready to get to my hotel and kind of just lay down so um i don't know if y'all see me looking at the camera and looking back at myself i'm sorry but right now i'm laying down um i done took a shower got comfortable and I was on the phone with my boyfriend, you know, um, the whole time I was in the Lyft or the Uber, everything. Um, yeah, so it's almost like 12 in the morning. I'm going to get ready to go to bed because as most of you know, tomorrow's a big day. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for kind of taking this journey with me. I know I've said it before, but, y'all, this is really a big journey for me, and I really appreciate every last one of you guys. Um, tomorrow, I don't know how much I can film on set, but I will be filming myself getting ready in the morning. I'll be filming myself probably eat some breakfast because I did see a Waffle House. Remember, if you guys watched my last video, you guys know, like, you guys heard me say, I really want a Waffle House, but I never got to get it. So tomorrow I think I might just get breakfast before I go to the studio and then I'll kind of record until then. Um, that's pretty much it for right now, y'all. I'm going to get ready to go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. <laughs> bye, bye Good morning, guys. So as you can see, it is the next day. And yeah, I'm in my hotel room. And last clip you guys saw of me, I was really, really tired. Like I told you guys, I didn't really record once I left um, the first airport, which was, um, 
I didn't really record once I left the first airport, which was in New York. Um, it was just a lot going on. I kind of recorded clips of me on the plane. So, yeah. Um, it is currently 7.20. I set my alarm for 8 o'clock to be up, but I woke up a little earlier. Um, I had to go to the gas station because so I was reading online about things you can and can't have basically on planes and um, batteries were one of them and my toothbrush is battery operated so I didn't bring my toothbrush um, so I had to go to the gas station it was like a, down the road to get a toothbrush so that's what I went to get as you guys can see if you guys see my deodorant under my armpits that's because I showered last night <sighs> Um, I'm gonna shower again, but yeah, I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna do my face. Um, I'm not doing any makeup, guys. Sorry to disappoint. Um, but yeah, no makeup, just regular shower, clean my face, and then I'm gonna get dressed. I'm gonna try to get a little breakfast in before I go to the studio. I don't know if I'm gonna like DoorDash or Uber Eats, I don't know. But I'm just gonna try to get something in my system. I picked me up an orange juice from the state gas station because I was really thirsty last night. It was a pretty cool flight and all that good stuff. And yeah. So basically you guys are just gonna follow me through kind of a little morning routine. And that is really pretty much it. Um it's not too much for me to do. I'm wearing a dress today. They said dress nice, then bring your athletic clothes, then bring another pair of clothes. So I am wearing a dress. I'm not wearing nothing like no high heels, none of that. I know a lot of the other girls are, but I'm not just because that's not something I'm comfortable with. And I'm really trying to be myself. Like she even said like try to wear makeup, but y'all like I just don't wear makeup. So I really can't give you what you're asking because that's just not me. So it is what it is. I'm gonna come regular nanny. <laughs> well, that's it for right now, and I'll see you guys once I get out the shower and start like brushing my teeth and washing my face and get dressed and all that good stuff. <laughs> hey y'all, so I'm back. I know I told you guys I would come back once I kind of did like my well after I took my shower, basically, but clearly I lied. Um. I ended up taking my shower and then I wanted to just take my time getting ready making sure I had everything I needed um, and kind of just like relax my nerves before everything the studio is not far from here so I don't have a long way to go um, as you guys can see I got the ponytail in with the side swoop bang going on um, yeah so it is um, 8.50 right now so I'm going to be requesting my uber at exactly 9 o'clock um this says the studio is only um 50, well it said it's 11 minutes away but you know we'll see um when I looked it up on the like you know the google maps thing it said it was only 11 minutes away but you know I could always be wrong um yeah so um, that's it for right now, and basically I'll come back and up you, up, up you, update you guys, kind of like as we go, and all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm about to go upstairs for the next few minutes, or I actually just sit on my phone for the next few minutes, talk to my boyfriend, he's on FaceTime, and just kind of wait it out. I know one of the girls told me she'll be at the studio at 9.30, and she had asked, she was like, is anyone gonna be at the studio early? And I told her um, I'm going to leave my wherever I'm at an hour earlier just so I'm there on time or a little earlier because first impression is the best impression. You never want to be late. I'm looking at my phone right now, guys, so I can find the dang address and put it into my Google Maps so I can tell you guys exactly how far it is. So yeah, I just actually booked my Uber right now. I, mean, I, I just did it while we were on the phone. Because earlier, let me tell you guys something. Earlier, okay, yeah, my Uber's on its way. So earlier, um, I was, earlier guys, I was on the Uber app, right? And it kept telling me, it was like, oh, your 
Well, actually, you guys can talk to me while I go downstairs because it says he's going to be here in four minutes. So, um, I'm going to get myself together and make sure I have all my stuff. And if you guys, as you guys can see, I have my duffel bag with me because I have like a lot of stuff. Plus my sneakers because we are going to be changing and I almost forgot my extra battery to my camera So in case that dies Um, you don't want to forget that and I actually don't want to forget my charger And I got everything I anything else I need in my purse. Oh, hold on guys Earlier when I checked it, it said it was like $20 and I was mad confused because last night Oh, let me turn these lights off too. Last night it said it was only 17 but every time I checked the 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 thing again to make sure it's the same price it kept just going up 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 so i'm glad that i caught it when i did and it being 17 dollars because that's crazy and let me not forget my drinks because i'm thirsty i'm a thirsty girl i got my orange juice and i actually Guys, this is actually something new that I'm drinking. And the only reason I'm drinking it is because I see my boyfriend drinking when he's tired. So, I picked up a Red Bull. So, hopefully that gave me a little bit more energy. I don't know if it will, but, you know, it's always good just to keep something just in case. To give you a little boost of energy. Okay, I think I'm good. I got my orange juice. I got my sneakers. My orange juice and my sneakers. I'm about to hit these lights on my way out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec. I'm in the elevator. As you can see, I got everything I need. I should have brought the handle so I could carry it on my side. But I don't know why I didn't. And I'm not going to run back upstairs to get it. So it is what it is at this point. Um, I just carry my sneakers in my hand. And I got my camera. I got my camera in my other hand, so I mean I'm straight for the most part. And I told I was telling my boyfriend last night, I was like, it's really dark in here, like it's quiet. Oh, I didn't know how my face mask on. I walked out the room without my face mask on, y'all. Hold on. I know you gotta be cute, but you gotta be cute and safe, honey. And you know what the thing is, y'all? I still put my lip gloss under my mask. Even though nobody can see me. You wanna know why? It's the lashes for me. Mm. As y'all can see, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's really, really pretty. And my Uber is outside. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. So, it is the next day. Um, yeah. I actually didn't film at all after I came back to my hotel. I didn't film in the Uber. I just didn't film. Um, so, I didn't... Okay, so I wasn't able to film where I was at. Um, basically, I just wasn't allowed. It wasn't like it was bad or anything. It's just I couldn't film. 
So you guys got some footage of me getting in the Uber. You got some footage of me from the morning. You got some footage of me from the flight. You just got footage of me, okay? So yes, y'all. Let me just tell you, yesterday, nothing but opportunities were made, okay? Um, I met some amazing girls, like amazing. Like they will forever be in my memory. Like they were just great, okay? Um, I met some amazing managers, producers, um, amazing everything. Like everything was amazing about yesterday, honestly. Like the opportunity was great. The opportunity of me being seen, I was seen, I was out there, you know. I did what I came to do, like I said. Um, I just wanna tell you guys that no matter what you guys think you can't achieve, no matter what you guys think is too hard, no matter what you guys feel like anyone will laugh at, I want you to keep going. Honestly, like, come out of your shell. Don't be shy. And that's what I learned today. I learned one of the things that I have to work on is my shyness. And I know many of you probably like, you're not that shy or I don't see it. I, I am. Um, it really is just depending on kind of who I'm around. If I feel like I'm comfortable around you, then of course you won't see it. Um, I kind of don't see it on camera either, but you know, when you get in front of a lot of people, things show. So, um, I learned that about myself today. I kind of got to be a little more confident in myself. Not saying that I don't think I have it. It's just, I have to learn how to show it more and express myself more to be kind of like out there. Um, and kind of show my personality more if that makes sense um i feel like i show my personality a lot but i gotta work on showing it more and projecting it more onto my camera honestly um but yes like i said nothing but opportunities were made yesterday i got to meet carmen and i loved it i loved every second of it i loved literally everything i can't speak on what we did just yet guys so stay tuned for those episodes but yeah it was really really great and really amazing y'all um Thank you to each and everyone who reached out, congratulated, wish me luck. You guys are super, super amazing. Thank you guys for everything. Thanks for my new supporters. Thanks for my old supporters. Thank you all, guys. Um, you guys are genuinely amazing. Like, I love you guys, honestly. Um, you guys keep me going. You guys keep me sane. You guys just keep me me, okay? <laughs> um, there's really kind of like not a lot more to talk about except for I made it to Houston. I came to do what I had to do. I told you I came to be seen. I told you I came to make opportunities. And that's exactly what I did. Um, it is currently, well, actually, I don't know because I'm recording on my phone. But I think it's like 8.39 ish. My next flight out is at 12.30 to go home. Or not 12.30, actually 12 o'clock to go home. So I'm super, super excited to go home. I can't wait. I wanted to go home yesterday because I just missed my papa and my baby so much and yeah this experience like i said was amazing like if you guys i'm gonna i'm gonna try to show you guys my view in a second but y'all i love houston like i said houston this is not gonna be the last time you see me baby i'm going to be back um yeah like literally opportunities are made today and i'm super super excited and i'm super super glad that i even got this far like it's just great um like i said i love my supporters i love each and everyone who just believed in me you know and anyone who didn't y'all y'all will see like i said i came and did what i had to do i was seen by people that i didn't even think noticed me and i'm just all around excited for any opportunities to come so yeah thank you guys again so much for watching guys you guys stayed here long enough so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and oh my goodness that's how early it is y'all i still got crossed right here don't forget to hit that subscribe button and all that good stuff and y'all i will definitely see you on my next video which will not be too long from here um yeah i have a lot of videos in store for you guys like so much more videos so much more content and I'm just ready to work, honestly. This kind of like motivated me to never stop and keep going. No matter what it is or whatever, what you think is going to discourage you, just keep going. So 
like I said, y'all, I'm going to be dropping my same video, not my same videos, but I'm just going to keep dropping video at the video at the video because I'm ready to stay consistent and get it on. I really am just ready to really do what I got to do. Honestly, I'm done. I don't want to work for somebody else no more. I want to work for myself. I want to get this money. I want to be nanny with just a YouTube channel. Like I want y'all to know me as Nani from Nani's World. Yes, I want people to know me like that. So I'm gonna do what I have to do. I'm gonna work however hard I gotta work and that's on that, okay? Y'all will definitely see another video soon and I love you guys and yeah. Like I said, it's Nani from Nani's World. It's my world and y'all are just living in it. <laughs> I thought